Hi guys, today we'll be doing River Engineering Excel project. Okay, so it says Brad Kufferman is the senior director of projects for Rivia Engineering in Miami, Florida. The company performs engineering products for the public utilities and energy companies. Brad has started to create Excel workbook to track estimated and actual hours and billing amounts for each project. He asks you to format the workbook to make the information clearer and easier to interpret. Go to Employees for Projects Worksheet. Change the worksheet theme to Office. Okay, so we're going to go down here. It used to see Employees for Project. Then we're going to go to Page Layout, right here, up here. We're going to click Themes. We're going to click Office. It's the first one. So then it should turn blue like this. Then it says in cell A1, decrease the font size to 18 and change the fill color to blue accent one lighter 80%. So A1, which is for your employees for project, go back to home. We're gonna decrease it to 18. Then we're gonna go to this fill button right here, pink. A pink <coughs> can. And then we're gonna go to right here, the fifth color. And the first one, it should say blue accent one lighter 80%. So then it should look like this. Then it says, step three, center the values in the ranges A3 to B9. So we're going to go to A3, select one way to B9, no, B3 to B9. <coughs> then we're going to click over here, you should click the center one. Hover over it and just say center text. Then it should look like this. Step four, add outside borders to the range A1 to C9. So we're gonna select A1 to C9. So over here you should see four squares. And then you should click the down arrow and go to outside borders. So then it would look like this. So you can see. Step five. Change the color of the employees for project worksheet tab to blue accent one. So to do that, we're gonna go to right here, employees for projects. We're gonna right click. So you're gonna go bottom right, and you're gonna right click. You're gonna double. You're gonna click right there, and you're gonna go to tab color. Then you're going to go to blue accent one. And hover over it to make sure it's correct. So then it would look like this. Step six: Go to Project Tracking Worksheet and cell B2. Change the date format of cell B2 to short date, and the normal format drop down menu, and resize column B to its best fit. So we go to Project Tracking. It's next to Employees for Project. So right here, we should go to the date Thursday, May 20, 2021. Right here, you're going to go to date, you're going to click the down arrow, and you're going to click short date. So it should become 5 slash 20 slash 21. Then we go from B to C in between. We're going to double click, and it should turn into this. Step 7. Display the values in the ranges D4 and to D13 with one decimal place. So D4, D13. We're gonna go to number, click down, click more number formats, we're gonna go to number and click the down arrow to decimal places into one, one decimal place. So then it should look like this. Step eight, in cell F4, insert a formula without using a function that multiplies RB Ireland's estimate hours, the cell D4 and his pay rate, the cell E4. Fill in the range with F4, F5, to F13 with the formula in cell F4. So we're gonna go to F4 and click the equal sign. Then you're gonna click um, D4 and then you're gonna click the star sign to multiply, which is shift and eight. Then you're gonna click from E4. So it should look like this and you click enter. It should be 30, 36, 4, 2.5. Then 
it says oh yeah fill in the range with f5 to f13 in order to do that we're gonna click this green little square right here to, make, to turn into a plus sign and else we're gonna drag all the way down to f13 so it will look like this step nine apply the currency number format to the range f4 to f13 using the dollar sign and two decimal places so in order to do that we're gonna go to um so f4 f13 so over here underneath general you see a money sign i'm gonna click it and remember it should have two decimal places step 10 display the values in the ranges k4 to k13 as the percentages with the percent sign and no decimal places use conditioning format highlight cell rules to format the cells containing a value greater than 10 with light red filled with dark red text so from k4 to k13 we're going to select and then we're going to go to general click more number format we're going to click percentage and we're going to turn it down to zero decimal places click ok and it should look like this next we're going to do select it again we're going to conditional formatting right here click down arrow click highlight cell rules and you click greater than then you put 10 percent with the percent sign and make sure it says light red fill with dark red text click ok so that it should look like this Step 11. In ranges H4 to H13, use conditional formatting to create data bar rules with the gradient fill blue bar option, color option. So F4 to F13. We're going to select them. Let's go back to conditional formatting. Click, this time you click data bars. And we're going to go to the blue data bar. So hover over it to make sure. So then it should look like this. Then it says in step 12, insert a formula using the average function that calculates the average amount of actual hours worked. Range G4 to G13. So we're going to go to G14. So we're going to go over here. So it should look like a sideways M button. You click the down arrow and you click average. So then it should pop up as average equals average G4 to G13. You click enter or return. So then it says, step 13, in cell G15, insert a formula using the min function that calculates the minimum amount of actual hours worked in range G14 to G13. So we're going to go to G15, go back to the sideways M button, this time you're going to click min, which is the last one, and you should, instead of G4 to G14, we're going to go to G13. Make sure to change it, and click return, or enter. Then step 14, in cell G16, insert a formula using the max function that calculates the maximum amount of actual hours worked in the range G4 to G13. So we're going to go to the sideways end button again. This time we click max instead of min. And we're going to change it to G4 to G13. And click return. And that's how it should look like. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Okay, bye.